something about me. I saw something about me. They wanna look at me now. They wanna look at me now. Guys, just look at me now. Hoes, wanna look at me now. I wanna hunt me down. Smoking no kind of life. Goku, Goku versus Superman. Dragon Ball versus DC Comics Death Battle. This should be good. The last death battle I watched was the Rick one versus that other guy and my stream lag. So let's make it up with a banger. Goku versus Superman. Superman, it's time to answer the ultimate question and we're taking it all into play. We're examining Superman's extensive mainline comic book canon. Given Dragon Ball Super's contentious continuities, we'll include all three, just to be thorough, plus Dragon Ball Heroes. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Far away, in an enchanted land, an old master found a boy and marveled at his I'm uncommon boy. strength. This is the story of Son Goku. Chances are, if you've no watched some localized anime, you can thank this guy. Movie. Inspired by martial this arts films and his wife's watch. interest in yeah. Chinese culture, Akira Toriyama crafted the story and the character that would define generations to come. Dragon Ball! Kakarot was born a low-class Saiyan on the planet Vegeta, narrowly escaped its destruction by Frieza, and was raised on Earth by happy old Grandpa Gohan. Not just raised, but trained. Gohan began Goku's teaching in martial arts, which he would find to be his true calling under the guidance of Master Roshi. Specifically, he learned the Kame Senen Ryu style, which focuses on discipline and tenacity, both of which strongly define Goku's character. The more he learned, the more he wanted to improve. This little low-class monkey boy would prove that hard work and dedication can beat raw talent. Within just a few years, he was so strong, the only worthy teachers left were gods and a talking cat, but mostly gods. When you're training to dodge lightning, you know you're a few leagues over everyone else. He did have a slight advantage. Saiyans are naturally superhuman. They also take Nietzsche's famous words, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, very, very literally. It's almost unfair how much of a boost in power they get after they're hurt. While Saiyans like Vegeta may have abused this trait, it suits Goku. No matter how many times you knock him down, he will get back up stronger than before. It helps that he knows so many cool combat moves, like the Kamehameha! An incredibly powerful technique that focuses one's key into a single point for a devastating beam. So challenging, it took Roshi decades to master, but Goku got it in like five seconds. It's incredibly versatile with over 50 different variations. For example, Goku can curve the beam after firing, or even shoot it from his feet. But unlike most Saiyans, he doesn't just use ki to blow shit up. Moves like the Solar Flare, Energy Landmine, and God Bind require a lot more strategy and planning. Because while Goku isn't exactly book smart, he is a genius I when it comes to martial arts. They didn't he doesn't just, just train to conquer his opponents, on but to conquer himself. They better not He's also be got some different Goku moves, from like trapping you in a rice cooker. Well, pretty Where? much any container could be used the for the Senko Mothma ceiling technique. Then there's and Kaioken, a, a, a AKA player. Instant Steroids. Goku's that point multiplied his power by 20 with it before, Can't and in a me. movie, he even got it up to times 100. What a badass. The Genki Dama, or Spirit Bomb, is potentially his strongest attack, but it requires considerable oh, yeah, time, unlike him. Instant Transmission, which is a tell- So, uh, it's seeming like they're just starting off like his base kit move. His base kit moves are better than everything Superman has. Like, everything Superman has is basically his base kit, and it's his special moves. That's the instant. The way it works is Goku detects another person, like a sort of beacon then teleports to their location by launching himself through an alternate dimension where time stands still. Yes, according to the Daisenshu guidebook, it's a dimension hop. You can actually see this in between space in some movies and games. And the dubs wanted us to think it shot Goku's molecules around at light speed. Silly English. The dubs did more than that. In fact, early dubs of Dragon Ball Z tried to rewrite Goku as a Superman figure. Even his famous speech on Namek about being the light in the darkness was originally about him coming to terms with his Saiyan heritage. Accepting his anger and pride, avenging his people by defeating Frieza, and declaring himself the Super Saiyan. Hell yeah! If, there, if there's any scene that deserves the word epic... That's a good, that's a good, like, way to think. 
Who has the bigger pride, Goku or Vegeta? When he went gold, Super Saiyan and its sequels all He's have official power multipliers, like but they threw us for a loop by turning Goku into a god. Super Saiyan God certainly changed things up. Yeah, Goku gained Divine Ki, a pure form of Ki unspoiled by mortal hands. Unlike normal Ki, it can't be detected and appears to have healing properties. Kinda like Senzu beans. Did you know one Senzu has so much healing juice it can regenerate a person's lost limbs? They're missing out. God Goku reached a level of power oh, that could compete with the greatest of deities, nearly shattering the whole universe with a single clash on his first go. Dragon Ball's cosmology is unique. This model is said to be an accurate depiction of Universe 7, but there's a wrinkle there. When all of humanity went to heaven, because Boo went Boo-Zerk, Videl commented that heaven is just as large as a universe, and the Daisenshu backs her up. And, uh, that's heaven, big planet. So let's scale things up with that in mind. Doing so would make Universe 7 over 1,500 times larger than our own observable universe. And Goku could destroy that much the first time he went God. And he didn't lose that power. He learned how to use it even better, even in base form. Now, imagine how much stronger he became when he stacked Super Saiyan on Super Saiyan God and became Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Yeah, not saying that. Or after he trained with some almighty angels. Or when he perfected the blue hairdo and stacked Kaioken on top of that. Goku has certainly performed great feats with God Key. Breaking through Hit's time stop by forcing himself into the future. Holding off Infinite Zamasu, who was a sentient timeline. Defeating Jiren, who shook the entire world of Void by just walking. He even tried out Hakai, the destruction god move that nopes you out of existence. Your being and your soul erased from all of time. Bro, did he just caduce him? Base culminating in his greatest form, Ultra Instinct. Chrome Goku isn't a normal transformation, it's a state of mind. Ultra Instinct is the highest peak of martial arts, subconsciously making optimal choices cause you're in the zone, doing without thinking. Something Goku has always been training to do. Technically, it can be used in any form, but when perfected, Autonomous Ultra Instinct makes you untouchable. No matter what comes his way, Goku will automatically dodge, block, and counter to the best of his ability, even pushing his body well beyond his physical limits. So far beyond, in fact, Ultra Instinct can summon a massive avatar to defend him when his own body can't. That sounds really what? intense. It is. <laughs> he has a Susano. <laughs> which is why he's developed incremental versions of it for specific uses. It's extremely difficult to maintain the full form for long. Until you get to Dragon Ball Heroes, aka Dragon Ball fanfiction gone Kaioken times a thousand. While technically a different continuity, CC Goku is functionally a stand-in for the mainline Goku. His history and powers are the same, making his story just as much of a what-if scenario as the multiple super continuities. The only real difference is Toriyama's not really involved. This Goku used instant transmission to teleport through time and dimensions. He outsped a god who could see the future. He defeated Dark King Fu, who was gonna rewrite the entire universe. Hell, this series even makes GT cool. Xeno Goku can break space time just by going Super Saiyan 4. Looking back at that goofy monkey boy chopping wood and punching dinosaurs, it's almost overwhelming to think about how far Goku has come, how much he's had to face. But no matter the challenge, he takes it head on and pushes through, showing everyone everywhere how to go even further beyond it's looking nice right now with the little backstory let's see I'm sure superman like it has powers that i don't know about hmm. faster than a speeding bullet more powerful than a locomotive yeah, it's a bird it's a plane it's Superman! He's just a locomotive? People in the 40s needed bigger imaginations. Born on the far off world of Krypton, the infant Kal El was sent to Earth by his parents, narrowly escaping Krypton's destruction. Raised by farmers as Clark Kent, he eventually became Superman, champion of the oppressed, the man of tomorrow. If you've only seen the movies, forget them! Comic book Clark's not the perfect Boy Scout. And he's definitely not Jesus. Wait, weren't the guys who made him Jewish? Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster were sons of Jewish immigrants and grew up in a time when anti-Semitism went largely unchallenged. And then that ugly mustache showed up. Understandably seeking escape from some truly know, terrifying bro. horrors, the pair created Superman to be a simple That's solution good. to overwhelming problems. A hero who could defeat any evil by just punching it. Hell yeah, Wait, how that's how I live my life. After almost nine decades, Superman has been many things. At the core, his story 
is one of a refugee, a child who lost his home, left to the mercy of alien people. This new world That's accepted him, years. raised him, gave him a new home, because helping others in need is Wait. the right thing to do. That's why he's he became a superhero, the he's first a superhero. Of Everything's got to start somewhere, but he was the first one to really take off. I mean, not literally. It took a while, actually, before he learned how to fly. In fact, when Clark discovered his Kryptonian heritage, he struggled to accept it and subconsciously developed mental blocks, severing him from his true power, which he would uncover throughout his life. He's strong enough to shoulder press the weight of the Earth for five days straight, or crush coal into perfectly cut diamond. That's not how that works. He's fast enough to reach the edge of the universe in seconds or even break the bonds of infinity. Wait, he can do all that, but Batman can punch him out? That's really? What I'm You're probably thinking about like, yeah, like, if Batman's maxing you, bro, they're just nerfing your whole character arc. Like, there's no reason why you're the strongest person in the world and you're not doing the Omni Man to Batman. To, like, you know what I mean? Stories outside main canon like Dark Knight Returns. It's a good question, though. Superman's powers have fluctuated over time for a variety of reasons. However, for Death Battle, we take the characters at their best. Yeah, like how his breath is so powerful he can sneeze away a solar system or blow air cold enough to freeze ghosts. Speaking of, his X-ray vision doesn't just see through the walls. He can see through your own body and mind to examine your soul. And yet, he can't see through lead. That's okay, though. He can just burn through it with his face. Since he gets his power from the yellow sun, his heat vision burns with the fire of a star. And if beams aren't enough, he can blast it out of his whole body for a super flare. It used to totally drain him, but he's learned how to control it. Simply put, Superman's powers defy physics. My favorite examples of this are when he rebuilt the reality warping miracle machine from memory. Or punched Brainiac so hard every version of him felt it through all of time. Or when he gained 10 years worth of medical training through only I ain't gonna lie, Superman might be hanging. Bro punch bro's whole existence. Five minutes of reading and then successfully that. performed lung surgery. Nice. My lung favorite surgery. example is when he smelled brownies in North Dakota Person. from orbit. Even lung beyond surgery. his powers, Superman is no novice when it comes to the intricacies of battle. He's trained in Kryptonian martial arts, which uses G, or as they call it, Shriar. He even got summoned to Asgard to fight demons with Thor for a thousand years. Superman can resist being erased from existence, such as tanking Darkseid's Omega Beams. Even Retcon and the Time Trapper, both of which hijack and alter timelines, can't touch him. Not because of his powerful mental defenses or healing factor, but because he's a cosmic linchpin in the greater metaverse. Timelines literally revolve around him. But let's address the S-shaped elephant in the room. You may have noticed we've covered a variety of Superman eras. Superman and DC Comics as a whole have gone through multiple retcons. Golden Age, Silver Age, Pre-Crisis, Post-Crisis, New 52, Rebirth, and so on. It would help to know which one is the main Superman, right? Well, they all are. Yeah, the latest reboots basically said everything in the main series is kind of canon, even when he had wacky powers like changing his appearance with a super muscular control. Ew. I guess he can still phase through almost anything, even people. Look, if you really dig into it, this isn't new. Plenty of characters have recalled events from supposedly retcon timelines before. Yeah, post-crisis soups did start as less powerful than in pre-crisis, but that was because of the mental blocks. Though he's not a complete composite, there's so hey, many other yeah, Supermen out there. Future Superman, Big Robot Superman, Kami Superman, Dinosaur Superman. There's a bunch. Still, Kami this Superman. new cannon has affected his abilities. For example, he and other Kryptonians can effortlessly travel through time. And while Superman's powers stem from the Earth's yellow sun, exposure okay, to a blue star that. increases them even further. In fact, upon visiting a white star, he attained a whole new level of power. When that old baldy Lex teleported right. him to another galaxy, Superman just popped back up, saying space-time has lost its meaning for him. He really just said that. Remember, Superman defies physics. Like when he used heat vision to restart the universe by making an all-new Big Bang. We've seen that his universe has a radius of at least 100 trillion light years, but we can calculate a more exact figure. The DC universe is 15 billion years old and expands at 60 trillion light years per half second. This means its radius must be over 50 nonillion light years across. 
None the what? That's 31 zeros, and soups help make that happen. Well, about one fifth of it. That's still immense power, but if you want something bigger, here's the Anti Monitor blasting Golden Age Superman with all the energy of the antimatter universe. And then Superman, you know, punched him so hard it kickstarted another one of those reboots. Now, Superman does have weaknesses. There's kryptonite, of course, and exposure to red starlight can fade his powers over time. Not all at once. He has been able to move planets around while under a red star. So... And everyone knows Superman time. can't deal with magic, but it's more accurate to say he doesn't have... This spell is making me feel lost, powerless. I focus on my sense of self, holding on to who I am. <laughs> Special resistances to it. He's defeated plenty of magic users before, even Shazam. Superman challenges the idea that absolute power corrupts absolutely. He's the goodest good guy of them all, but there is nuance to being good. Even if he is the ultimate power fantasy, unstoppable and incorruptible. Such as when he took on the World Forger, one of the most powerful reality shapers in all of creation. Who was in the sixth dimension, crafting a whole new multiverse to replace the one Clark calls home. Who's gonna stop him? Superman could, and the Forger knew it. So he was trapped on a world with a sun so distant he could never escape. Or so the Forger thought. Instead, Clark found the strength he needed to fly at that sun, dip through a ton of stars, KO the World Forger, and shatter his new multiverse with a single punch. Because that's Superman, a simple solution to overwhelming problems. He's the kind of person to save a cat from a tree, answer Christmas cards from strangers, and tow hundreds of planets to a new galaxy all in the same day. What's not to like? Truth and justice has no better champion than the Man of Steel. No hurry, no rush, no regret. Look at me. Time to keep playing. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by BetterHelp. Wiz, it's getting to be the holiday season again, and I just know Mama Boomstick is. We'll finally settle who's stronger. <laughs> if you say so. Just fine. <laughs> 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 it back later world made of cardboard all right i'll show you just how powerful i really am like a job for looks like i was right they're hitting them with the power Well, what do you think? <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> nice suit! Oh, uh, thanks. Kryptonian fabric. My mom made it for me. He hard! He hard for that.
They definitely destroyed. This has to be a tie. That's the only thing I think is like the weird part about it. Huh? Yeah. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Almost had me there. That was actually pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. But I'll be stronger next time. I look forward to it. Let's go again. You're on. Bro, they always have Superman win, bro. Every time Superman wins, bro. I he, like I don't understand it. I don't understand it, bro. They just destroyed the entire universe. I'm not even gonna listen to the recap, bro. He's invincible. That's the only feat that keeps him alive, is invincibility frame. But like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments for sure. Turn post notifications on. Roll to 5K. You are loved. I love you. Let's get it. We up into the next one.